Virgo, this is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It's an energy reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. Um, please take the energies where and how they resonate in your life. This is Virgo, after all, your message. Um, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and then ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. There's a new Virgo reading every single week. If you feel like you need a personal reading, I do those as well. Please go to my website. The link is down below in the description box and you can register and schedule and book your appointment uh, at your convenience. I also have ordered, um, have added a lot of value to the BWOB membership to this channel. If you guys love the extended readings, then um, please do become members because they, um, they are now a part of the BWOB membership. You get unlimited access to the extended readings. So, all right, Virgo. Remember, this is a timeless message. All messages come to you when you're ready to hear them. Let's see what is to come for the week ahead. We're going to start with um, past, present, future. And then we're going to see how all of them are working together. Try to make sense of the energies that you're dealing with now and what you can expect. Okay, Virgo, let's go. Virgo, Virgo, sun, moon, rising sign, Virgo, there's something that's impending that's pretty, pretty much formidable. You can't really get around it or get over it or even go through it. There's something that you have to confront. You could feel like there's some sort of block or <laughs> there's an energy of I'm sick of something. I've had enough. I need a break from this but it's definitely impending, it's upcoming. We also have, this is coming out in the future, we also have a rebirth is assured, but it's, it's in reverse. So in reverse, that means that something is stuck or that it's not, it's not happening. There's, there's, it's, yeah. Um, um, wait a second, wait a second. It could mean that you're ready to fly. That this isn't just a awakening, this is a launch. So let's get the details on that. Make your dreams real. Who has been spidering you, manipulating you, weaving things, or what have you been weaving? Because this is about creation, right? Creation that is natural. Like it, it's like, what are you weaving? What are you creating, or what tangled web are you kind of stuck in? Take. Uh, take time out. This is kind of flat. So there's this energy of inevitability. You can't escape this. This is about to happen. This is about to launch something that you have been creating or working on. This could be toward the end of this week into next week in terms of how the timeline is moving. Make your dreams real. It's, it's, um, you've gone from vision into execution. So it almost seems like something is taking off this week. Like, excuse me, this is the week, Virgo, when something is about, is, is, is launching. It's, it's breaching from concept into reality. Okay. I'm assuming that you know what this thing is because you've been working on it. Let's get a few more details. <laughs> I need a lot. For Virgo cards on the table god please make it make sense page of pentacles this is somebody new coming into existence or a new opportunity that is going to enable you to 
head out in a different direction or um, maybe choose to move somewhere or go someplace new. Um, it could be an opportunity to move someplace new or to change perspectives and, and decide to finally plant the seed for moving in this other, other direction that you've been thinking of. Um, it's almost like finally being able to decide between two things that you want, knowing which way you want to go now, okay? Sorry, so we have this. This could also be the beginning or the start. This could represent you, something new. But then we have this directional card for me. The two of wands is all about you're, you, you're choosing between or you're contemplating. You have two different passions. This is like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? You're contemplating opening yourself up to something new or you know, you've know you known that it's coming. So it really looks like something's about to launch by the end of this week. Maybe you're going to go global, but it's happening. And I don't know what is, what is happening. So what is happening? Uh, there's Pisces energy coming up into the future. So things are still ambiguous or not completely um, um, solidified yet. This is also a sense of maybe you don't fully have a complete grasp on what it is going to be yet. There is there is something that is still, you don't know about it, something that is still amorphous about this, but it is creation. It is a creation. Um, this could also speak to... intuition or instinct as well please make things more clear if things aren't really clear right now god and we need them to be clear for virgo um something that will make you very happy what's clear is that people will be celebrating you or very happy for you or you'll be very happy that this thing actually casts out or or starts to get going um it's a it's a success it's a it's a success it's a success that's what it's saying. It's a success. Okay, we need details. Um, why is Piscean energy out here? What is what is there to do with that? It's almost like you kind of got to remain open. That, that's what it's saying. The most challenging aspect of this is that things are amorphous and they haven't settled. And this is your opposite energy, Virgo. So it's like you've got to do something that isn't comfortable for you, which is to not know and be okay with not knowing because it's not something that you can necessarily control that is coming and, and it's like you can see it but it's a cloud right so you it's like we got to keep going to it there's something that is the launch but it's not completely yeah it's not set in stone and two of pentacles is this could bring a lot of changes or things could still change things still have the ability to change because there are unforeseeables in the future in the not too distant future that you might have to contend with but what why what is this uh can you please clarify the moon card please please clarify the moon card for virgo please clarify the moon card god queen of pentacles please clarify the moon card the unexpected is you. The unexpected is a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Oh, it's almost like you're recreating who you are. Or you're about to get into a situation that's going to recreate who you are and how you go about things. It's also maturation. You go, it's like something happens really, it's really tremendous because you go from really youthful and really innocent to sort of the expert and in charge like overnight something is happening that requires that you mature or grow up very quickly even though you may not know how to handle this situation it's a situation that i think you will be able to handle simply because you're putting yourself in an uncomfortable situation that requires that you do what you can and figure things out. And that's exactly what's happening. Queen of Pentacles would represent you, represent somebody who is traditional, who is in charge, who 
who is um, responsible and respectful and really reliable and there's no there's no there's no there's not many shocks or um, unexpected when it comes to this person it's almost like the ambiguity surrounding you is making you find the solidity inside of you it's like the more crazy it gets on the outside the more unpredictable it gets the more together and practical and precise you get to balance things out that's really interesting why is this all coming out for virgo why are you telling us this oh let's get a moon card so this is this is moonology we can expect a moon the moon is coming up we can expect a moon uh leo moon on the 25th the moon cards pop out in the future. Uh, believe in the impossible and your commitment is being tested. How much faith do you have in this situation? Because something that you thought was impossible is going to happen, Virgo. And then that's really going to test your contentment or your happiness or your ability to stay in this situation. But like it or not, you're kind of locked in now something that you don't know that's the moon card something that you don't know is about to really shock you at almost the worst possible time because what you needed is stability and then all of a sudden there's unpredictability and it's like okay do you still want this can you still keep it going whatever it is that you planned or that was launching when things all of a sudden change and change pretty dramatically something that you didn't think was possible is about to happen so that's the only question that we really need to ask. What is this impossible thing that's about to happen? What is this impossible thing that is about to happen? God, what is this impossible thing that is about to happen? And then we get the star card. That's not answering my questions. Oh, your dreams and wishes completely fulfilled. Something that makes you extraordinarily happy. That's what it's saying. Believe in the impossible because it comes true something really miraculous and blessed comes through something you prayed for something you wished for it's it's something really beautiful and good but that challenges okay what will you stay where you settled for it's almost like when the best happens you realize all that you've settled for and that's going to test are you really committed to what you had in your life or were you just committed because you had to be because this was all you had now that you have options because something really good is coming your way it's like now that there are options there's a sense of what used to look good to you doesn't look as good because now there's something exceptional and great that you never thought would be possible and all of a sudden now you're seeing okay i want this i i maybe i don't want what i thought or what i had as much as what i want and that's why it's gonna you're you're it's get down get down that's why it's going to be tested that's why it's like and yeah that's going to show whether or not you really want something so what's really being brought to the surface is do you really want something or have you just been settling for it because you didn't think you had other options but now that something that you really want comes into your life and it's about to the the moon card the impossible card the surprise is oh look now you have everything you want are you going to stay in this marriage are you going to stay at that job you know it's like if you i'm not saying all of you are winning the lottery tomorrow but if you won the lottery tomorrow would you stay in that marriage or would it all of a sudden become obvious to you that you've just been tolerating that shit for the past 10 years if you won the lottery tomorrow you got a hundred million dollars in your banking account would you stay in the house that you're in that you told everybody i love so much or would all of a sudden it become obvious to you I don't want to be here and what it's saying is there's going to be a surprise change you're gonna you're gonna maybe take be take, take, taken by storm by how how quickly you change and how quickly it becomes well no this is what I really want and I don't want to settle anymore it's that kind of energy that's happening to you this week so it's a really good thing beautiful breakthrough kind of beautiful energy that is going to make it very clear who you really are not only to those around you but to yourself based on what it is that you really want as opposed to 
what you had to make work because you know you only had what you had but now you're going to have a lot more so this is very fulfilling um this is marriage a sick four of wands implies that there is a coming together with somebody that completes you or fulfills you and this is beautiful energy virgo this sense of maybe marriage maybe happiness maybe marriage arrangements or announcements or a decision to finally get together get married or feel at home maybe build a house be in a house complete a house this is just happiness and um, certainty feeling certain in your passions being supported uh, something beautiful is about to come out and i don't know why your commitment is being tested maybe it's because you thought you'd have to wait longer and you know you weren't patient maybe your patience was running out well your patience is about to be fulfilled now it's toward the end of this week and it's got to do with the full moon i can tell you that bottom line let's go to the extended reading i'll see you guys there